Disney. Skull Brug. We tried. Almost. Stay magical. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Hi, Hi friends. Welcome to another Disney Test Kitchen where we find Disney recipes online and try to make them for you. You're welcome. It's trying. It's trying. It's already just trying. <laughs> Let's set the expectations low and see what we wind up with. Before we get started, how many weeks until we're in Disney World? I mean, I know. Three weeks! Ah! Not easy. Easy. That's the, just the thing. <laughs> now it feels real for me. I was like up there, I was like, well, crap, three weeks. That's like, I can count that high. Yeah, almost on our fingers and toes. Tomorrow yeah. we can count it on our fingers and toes. That's real close. That's so close. And tomorrow is Thanksgiving. So we, oh, got, yeah. we gotta get through Thanksgiving and all the goodies and it'll we'll literally be there like tomorrow. It, basically. This week's recipe comes from Spoon University. If you haven't seen already, we will be making school bread, which you can find in the Kringla Bakery, I think it's called, in also, the Norway Pavilion in Epcot. Yeah. We've had this before. It's alright. It's unique. Yeah, it's okay. But I don't think it's gonna go very well. So let's get started! All right. Woo! My expectations! You can find the link to this recipe along with the recipe itself down in the description below. So if you're interested in making Norway's school bread, go ahead and do that. Check those out. This was recommended to me by an actual Norwegian. Really? So, yeah. Like the Disney school bread or just school bread in general? School bread. For this week's recipe, you're going to need one and one half cup of whole milk, one quarter cup melted unsalted butter, one package of active dry yeast, one package, not two, don't be deceived, one half cup of sugar, we have that, two teaspoons of cardamom powder. So in case you're wondering, cardamom powder is very expensive. Really? Yes. What is it? I don't know, but it sort of smells like soap. Sure does. You're going to need four cups of flour. Oh yeah, all purpose, for all the purposes. Along with two teaspoons of vanilla paste, or you can sub that with vanilla extract. Yeah, we went vanilla extract because we're not pretentious. One package of stovetop vanilla pudding mix. This recipe that I found online, you don't make the pudding yourself because I do not have time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Is this at least, oh this is cooking syrup, you gotta make it yourself. Stove top pudding oh, mix. Oh, so you can't do instant. I mean, you probably could do it instant, but... Okay. As long as it's not sugar-free. It's not. I got the full sugar one. Nice. Oh, I forgot the egg. One well-beaten egg. Six tablespoons of powdered sugar. And shredded coconut. <laughs> so, hey, my job. I have one job here. I already started this recipe because, like last week's recipe, you have to let it proof. Proof. I'm going to go over the instructions, put in the video. I do apologize if it's a little dark. I forgot to put the, the lights on when I was making the dough, but it was eh, it's fine. There's three ingredients to any video. <laughs> lights, camera, and action. She forgot one of them. That's okay. The first step is going to be to mix together milk and butter and heat either on a stove top or in a microwave to about 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Into that, stir in yeast and sugar, the yeast and sugar, and let it sit until, now this is what the recipe says, the yeasty beasties look foamy. You're going to then add the cardamom, then flour about a cup at a time and mix with your hands or a standing mixer with a dough hook. I use a spoon because it looked chunky and gross. Uh, until the dough pulls off of the sides of the bowl. 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 You may need to add a little bit of extra flour, but this dough should still be super sticky so it doesn't dry out. I actually use less flour. I only use three and a half cups. Rebel. You rebel scum. I am a rebel. Then you're going to place your dough in a lightly greased bowl, cover with a clean cloth towel, and allow it to rise until doubled in size about an hour. It's been over an hour. This is what we got. That's what we got. Again, this doesn't say to flour your surface for the next step, but again, I'm gonna. And this is where it goes downhill. Yep, yep. No, I think it went downhill already. Once the dough has risen, you're going to punch it down, kneading it until it is smooth, and then you're gonna make an 18-inch dough caterpillar. 
Again, not my words, just doing what the recipe says. Does it have to be a caterpillar? Uh, it could probably be a worm okay. if you'd like it to. So can I punch it? You can punch it. So I'm kneading. What do you need? Can I get it for you? Aw, uh, you with your puns. It just says knead lightly, so don't go okay, so don't go nuts. Let's call that lightly. 18 inches? 18 inches. Okay. So that's probably about 18 inches. Sure. Okay. And then you're going to cut that into 12 equal sections. So. 12? Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I am with it so far. Are you though? No. Oh yeah. Ugh. Oh, the tear though. Ugh. So next you are going to take those little fun little we'll chunks call, of dough. We'll call them dough nuggets. <laughs> and you're gonna roll them into a ball, place them on baking sheets with parchment paper. Sorry about the noise. So here we go. <laughs> These are some weird looking balls. Once you have balls, you are going to then let these sit aside for about 20 more minutes to proof a little bit more until they are puffed. Puffed. But not spread. But not spread. In the meantime, you are going to preheat your oven to 375, Mosh. and you're going to prepare your pudding as directed by the box. You mix it into a smooth, thick milk-like consistency. But the difference is as you're doing this, you're going to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract or paste. So it's not regular pudding. It's magic it's, pudding. It's super pudding. Let's see. Okay, very good. Ooh, it's going to be an ugly color. Oh, okay. We're going to add one and a half teaspoons because I'm out. We out. <laughs> really? You have no more? I don't think Anywhere? so. Anywhere? I don't think so. Hmm. Someone didn't prepare for this. Yeah. Get out of here. Oh my God. I was doing a thing. You ruined it. Soiled it. We'll be back. We have pudding. Put well, kind of. It's... it's Pudding soup. It's, but go, it's gonna be pudding. We're gonna stick it in the refrigerator to chill, so that's the next step. Stick just in the refrigerator to chill. Just chill, bro. Oh, crap. Uh oh. We have a turkey. Uh, we situation. have a turkey in the uh, oven. What? Turkey, <laughs> turkey in the fridge? I am so tired. <laughs> next, you are going to egg wash the tops of the rolls mm. with your well beaten egg. Are we supposed to mix it with cream? What? The egg. No. never had success working with like, yeast. Activated yeast. I don't either. I hate it. Helps. I don't want to do it. Oh. Sorry. And then these are going to go into your preheated oven for 15 minutes. Sorry, couldn't find that. All right. In the oven. Why are you following me? <laughs> do you want me to film me putting it in the oven? Too late now. Okay, bye. We'll see you guys in 15 minutes. And 15 minutes have gone by. It smells very interesting in here. Are they puffed? Are they golden brown on top? Um, mm. Yeah, I think those ones I'll are done. Give these bed. ones a minute. All right, we'll give those ones a minute, and then we're gonna let them cool, and then we'll be on with step number whatever. Whatever. We have let these cool for a little while. They're like comfortable to the touch. Yeah, I would touch this. Yeah. The next step, let me make sure I read this correctly, is to cut a small hole in the top of the bun for filling. And then you can feel free to eat that piece you pull out, or you can use it to attract passing reindeer. Do reindeer pass through here? Regular deer pass through here. Close. How big of a hole? A small, small hole. Oh, oh, I went too big on that. <laughs> yeah, it's a hole. All right, we'll finish these up and we'll get back to you when they are full of holes. Well, here you go. Our buns have holes in them now. Our buns have holes in them. The next step is you are going to take your six teaspoons of powdered sugar. I just put powdered sugar in here. And you're going to add 
water and whisk until you get a glaze. Holy crap, we're glazing them? Sort of. With the glaze, you're going to take your bread. Yes. And you're going to dip it mm -hmm. in the glaze. I approve. And then you're going to dip it in coconut. Oh. I was wondering how that happened. Okay. And then you got the base of your school bread. You got a coconut ball. Coconut ball. And then you're going to spoon in the pudding into your holes. The pudding is a little wonky. Oh. Yes. Yeah. This is it right here. Oh. Oh. Darn it. Patty. That's a big hole, Jake. Uh huh. That one's mine. <laughs> I think it. More pudding. I am. Please. Hold on. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. And there you have it. We made school bread, and they look so good. They look just like the ones you get in Disney. I want to say the pudding of the ones you got in Disney was piped in. It's probably not instant stovetop pudding either. Yeah, but. I'm excited. I think it's going to be great. All right. Cheers. God, this is going to be so unattractive, ladies and gentlemen. Mmm. Mmm. No. Very good. Oh my gosh. I taste just like... I think we're getting good at this. Yeah. I tell you what. <clears throat> oh my gosh. This is pretty spot on. It's so funny because <clears throat> I remember when we tried this in the, in Norway, mm -hmm. and I we were like, "This is really unique. What is that flavor?" And now I know that the flavor is cardamom, but I never in a million yeah. years would have guessed that because I don't think I've ever had cardamom. I think at the time you we were like, "Is it orange zest?" Yeah. Yeah. But it is. It's a unique flavor. Yes. I, I definitely think if you're like a picky eater, this probably isn't going to be something that you like because it does have like an odd floral flavor. The cardamom is a bit floral, a bit citrusy, but it's really attractive. Man, these are spot on. So make sure you go down below yeah. if you want to make these because this recipe is about as legit as you can find. Unless you want to hand make the pudding yourself. Yeah, crazy. I think the Disney actually has the recipe for these out, and but they made their own pudding. I was like, I can't. So... This will do. Definitely try these because they're amazing. Yeah. Make sure you come back next week. We will have another Bang. Disney test kitchen. We'll get there. So subscribe if you want to see when that video comes out next week. Yeah. Same time. Probably. But subscribe anyway. Yes, please. <laughs> if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down below and tell us what you want us to make in the future of Disney Test Kitchen. Yeah, let us know because we're helpless without you. We only have a few more episodes left until our vlogs start. So make sure you visit our social media too because Instagram is lit. Oh my god, I hate oh us. The worst. So as they say in Norway, stay magical. Did I say that? No. Okay. <laughs> Stay magical. Bye. Up here. Oh, I saved it. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was almost disastrous. The dog was right under us. This would have fallen on her head. All right.